ladies and gentlemen, members and friends. I had a good pop. You know what? It's February outturn, February 2024 outturn, and we start the year with January outturn, which is all about mixing things up, our special collaboration with Fever Tree, our different malts across the outturn for January. However, February outturn is when things really start kicking into gear for us each year, and we're really going large for February in releasing 93.204 by the beautiful Briny Sea in celebration of the 40th anniversary of the SMWS exclusive to SMWS Australia. This is an Australian exclusive single cask whiskey. Uh, we've gotten the whole cask for our members just in Australia. And some of you might be thinking, which 40th anniversary? Of course, the SMWS 40th anniversary, which was technically last year. But good things come to those who wait. And this one was a little bit delayed. There were all sorts of delays that happen with any good bottling. Uh, it's the way things go, whether it be shipping or artwork or cask selection process. Now, we went through a whole process with this particular whiskey. I'm just going to pour a bit of that and let that um, sit in the glass and open up for a moment. We went through a whole process of picking this whiskey exclusive for our Aussie members. Um, it started with a box of samples sent to my office. It then went through a flavor profile process. Uh, we went through about initially about 30 different whiskies for, on a selection of a sheet. We narrowed it down to eight. We got those eight samples and then this was the cask that we picked. Now, there's a few reasons behind the selection of this one in particular. One, it's a 93. It's Campbelltown whiskey. It's fantastic. It's oily and coastal profile was a huge win, huge draw card for us as well. So this one had a flavor profile already attached to it as an oily and coastal single cask. Uh, and we were really keen to share that with members. It's a first fill ex bourbon barrel for eight years in just beautiful Campbelltown spirit. So let's have a quick nose of this for Malt of the Month, a very special full cask release for our Australian members. I even just love the fact that we're able to offer up a whole cask. Uh, that's really exciting for us as, as the team. It's really exciting for our members to go, you know what, this is something that you can replenish. This is something you can have more than one bottle of. Uh, this is something that we can share around and say, you know, this is custom and picked for our Aussie members. And also, it's got its own custom artwork, which I'll show you up close now. This is... The artwork was was sort of drawn by, um, was devised by Andy Hall in our UK team, who's one of our artists that we work with. And the whole idea was I wanted a sort of modernist, sort of Keith Haring sort of look to the to the whiskey art. I wanted it to be sort of like encapsulate that Australian summer. And I wanted to release this in summer, which was ideally going to be December outturn. Uh, it then got pushed to February, just again, like I said, good things <laughs> come to those who wait. So this was meant to be a 2023, late 23 release. We're early 24 now. We love being fully transparent with you while these things happen. But it is full cast strength, 61.3% ABV, single cast Campbelltown whiskey from Distillery 93. Straight off the nose, it's, it's big, it's bold, but it's approachable. I get that... Um, like I get like a, like a caramel, like salted caramel note. Like the nose has this lovely sort of like mechanics oily rag going on, of course, like that sort of like that classic Campbelltown note of like oily rag, mechanic workshop parts, WD-40. But this, this particular cask, just as the sample gave away to me well as well, was this lovely salted caramel sandwich thing going on. So it's a little bit bready. It's a little bit like if you've got a, like a layer of thick, hot, salted caramel in between two slices of white bread. It's a bit beachy. It's a bit like there's a bit of hot sand in there. It's, it's, um, there's a lovely sweetness to it though. Like the, the sweetness is that sort of white bread sweetness, like almost fairy floss as well. Not too much fairy floss. Not like, it's almost like white fairy floss, not like the pink stuff. Let's have a taste. Mmm. It drinks really well at cast strength, 61.3%. First dram of the day for me, so it's not really, normally something that high proof would really give me a whack on the eyeball sort of thing. This one, not at all. If For those members who've, who've tried a few 93s, or even a few other Campbelltown whiskies of ours, like 27s, or if you're very lucky, you may have tried 114s or 126s, um, uh, you may, like, it's, you'll notice that some of the younger 93s, like six, seven, eight, nine year old ones, they get that, um, they have a, they're a bit more peak presence, if you like, and a bit more um, uh, uh, sharp and briny. And the older ones, like 14, 15, 17 year old ones, we see the teenage ish ones, are often a bit more syrupy 
and uh, more relaxed. But this is that almost balance in between the two, surprisingly, um, which is one of the things I loved most about picking this cask out. I've added a generous dash of water for this, probably a little bit too much, but... <sighs> With a bit of water now, I'm getting a bit of that fruit. I'm getting that sort of like um, apricot, salted apricot, it's a, it, the coastal element comes that way. It's oily at car strength. It's coastal with a bit of water. It works with water. It works with water, works without. That's a very versatile cask. And we love the oily and coastal. Oily and coastal profile is not quite peated profile. It's more of that sort of oily and coastal profile. We see often codes like 93s, 26s. I mean, there's not, it's not determined to code, of course. The code does not determine the flavor profile, but you know, in this case, it just fits perfectly. This is exclusive to members of the Scotch Pot Whiskey Society and to those exclusive to Australian branch. Uh, we've taken on the whole cask. Uh, it's our first full whole cask uh, for a little while, actually, ever since the 20th anniversary's casks back in 2022. So fast forward to 2024, and we're excited to have a full cask available again to members. Um, in celebration of 40 years of the club. And I know that international members will be wanting to seek this one out, but this one's all ours. Available in February out term, which is of course the first Friday of the month, which I think is the 2nd of February. And uh, in, we look forward to sharing this with you soon. It'll be on the bar at Whiskey and Element. It'll be at all good partner bars, who, those who pick it up. And of course, it'll be available in out term for, by the whole bottle. Pick up one, pick up a few, we'll see you all soon. Slangeva, cheers to your good health.